Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about merge statement. Topics that we will cover up in this video are merge statement, syntax of merge statement, objects on which we can use merge statement and point of caution while working with merge statement. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. The merge statement merges up to three records of the same as object type into one of the record, deleting the others. Merge process will also do the reparenting of related records. Merge only works with accounts, leads and contacts. Make sure to merge three records at a time and not more than that. For example, here you can see we are querying two account record, one in ACC1 and one in ACC2 and then we are using merge statement with ACC1 and ACC2. After this, ACC2 will merge to ACC1 doing all the reparenting of ACC2 child records and then ACC2 will be removed from the sales force. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys and now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of merge statement. Now merge statement provides us a similar kind of output that we actually get on the UI in case of duplicate records. So whenever we find a duplicate records over there on UI, suppose of account or contact, then we actually merge those duplicate records so that only one record can exist. The similar kind of output can be achieved by using a merge DML statement. But you have to keep in your mind that merge statement only works with accounts, leads and contacts. And whenever we are merging, we can merge up to three records at a time. And when we will merge records, it will also do the reparenting of the related records. So to show you that, let me actually create to account records and let me actually create related records for them as well. For that, let me go to the org and here in the org, let me create two account records. Let the first one will be parent account one. Now let me create parent account two as well. Click on save and in parent account two, let me have one contact and opportunity. So let me create one contact over here as sample contact one and the parent for this contact is parent account two. Let me create one opportunity as well as sample opportunity one. For creating opportunity, I need to choose some close date, a stage and that's it. Let me click on save. So definitely parent account two is having two childs and there is one parent account one which is having no child. Let me show you that as well. So parent account one is, is not having any child right now. So what I will do is I will merge parent account two to parent account one. After that, the child of parent account 2 will be the child of parent account 1 and parent account 2 will be deleted as well. So let me do that with the help of DML. So here first of all we will fetch those two accounts. So you see these two so called queries will return parent account 1 in ACC1 and parent account 2 in ACC2. After that all that I need to do is to call the merge, call the first and the second where the first one is the destination, the second one is the source. So the second one will be merged to the first one and then the second one will be deleted. Make sure you don't provide any comma in between. And now let's click on execute. So it has been executed successfully. Now if we will go to our org and refresh on parent account one, you can see now the parent account one is having two childs, which were earlier the child of parent account two. And if I try to find out parent account two in accounts, I will not be able to find it because it is deleted. To verify that, let's go to the recycle bin. And here you can see parent account 2 is deleted. That's how we basically use a merge statement as a part of DML statement. This is one of the DML statement which is rarely used, but definitely it has a purpose and maybe you might require it in future purpose. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.